Hey, this is Mike with Backroads Vanner, and today we stopped by a car show, and I found an awesome van, an owner that did all of this himself, and we're going to take a few minutes and introduce you to Mike, uh, Mike and Mike, two Mikes here today. Mike took his 1979 uh, Chevy van and converted it himself. He's done a lot of the same things that I did. It's amazing. We've never met. We've never seen our vans before, but he's taken his to another level. And this is some of the stuff that I've talked to you about on prior videos, making it your own style, using your own imagination to come up with things. And this van is a prime example. He's done fantastic work. He upholstered this van all himself, designed it himself. And now I'm going to show you some of the inside and I'm going to let Mike do the talking and tell you why he did what he did and how he did some of the things he did. So stick around and check out this video. All right, Mike, you want to tell us a little bit about your van and what you've... Uh... Well, made to go anywhere. It's got a uh, propane tank underneath the chassis for the heater and the stove. Okay. It could also in plug here. into an external uh, propane tank if you have one. It's got generators in the back to uh, power a 14,000 BTU air conditioner on the roof. Um, that thing probably cools this down in no time, it doesn't it? It will get it cold. It also has a converter with a circuit breaker box, a uh, fuse box, GFCI on it. Has a water storage tank for the um, sink. The uh, bed will uh, deflate and that will turn into a dinette set. The mirrors on the ceiling are made to, so when you sit down at the dinette you have more headroom. That's about and, it. That's about and, you it. Have, <laughs> and you have padding on top. Yep. You've got padding up yep. underneath there. Wow, that's tight. Over. Yeah. And then I got a uh, inverter in here with a uh, power strip with a surge protector for uh, the games and you can also plug in your phone and stuff on the TV. It's also mm -hmm. got a DVD player. And you've got a breaker box back up underneath mm -hmm. there I see. That's for shore power when you're plugged into yep. shore power. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's got a 30 amp uh, breaker. breaker. Got mm -hmm. a uh, deep cycle battery. The uh, it's Right now it's disconnected because I need to replace it. But I like the way you sunk that down underneath the floor so it doesn't mm -hmm. really take up any space and uh, you can access it from up on top but it's it's down underneath the van correct and you have a metal plate that'll seal it so if it does put off gas it goes outside uh -huh. and then there's a, a floor that drops in over that to where it looks just like the floor above it it's great and uh, then I had the seats reupholstered yeah look at these seats and he's got his swivel seat I'm gonna climb in here Icebox. Ice box. He's got his swivel seats, which is exactly what I was talking about doing on the van, being able to turn those seats around. Those are the original seats you had, right? And you just upholstered them. Mm -hmm. He's got a great uh, overhead console up here. He's got his CB up there. Sideband radio, he's custom even, cup holder. He's even got something to tell him if he's parked level or not, mm -hmm. right there. And this is an ice box with a drain on the outside. Man, I wish I'd have brought my my yeah. other camera. This camera is a little tough. We weren't planning on uh, doing this today. The uh, the plates on the floor will uh, come up, and uh, you can attach two more seats. So these little surfboards are yeah, they're actual. Just, they're just uh, tacky tape on them down. Uh -huh. There's two seat rails underneath them um, to hold the other two. You got storage cabinets, LED lights. Got a blue light for when the doors open. Mm -hmm. uh, smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. Nice little sink, and this is your stove right here. Correct. Does this just open up, yep. or is there a latch Pull on there? Oh yeah, two burner. Then the exhaust is on the side of the van. With uh -huh. all the well, we're going to go outside and look at the van. I want to uh, I want to tell you one thing about his van that he's got. Uh, the first thing that I noticed is he's got a, a back trunk on the back of his van. A lot of people use it. We use ours for storage and stuff, but Mike has taken it to a whole nother level too. Uh, if you notice, he's got the air conditioner on here. Well, when we talk about boondocking and uh, going off the grid, camping and traveling in your van, most vans cannot run an air conditioner because the uh, solar panels or the batteries just can't handle something like that. But in his case, he's got two generators hidden in the back of his van on the back of his box and we're going to go back there and we're going to take a quick look at that and you're going to see an awesome setup for being able to go off the grid and still have air conditioning in this hundred degree heat where we're at here today in Texas. All right, tell us what you got here Mike. Got two Honda generators uh, that give out, I think it's I can't remember, 20 or 30 amps. 
Got to power the uh, Pullman 14,000 BTU air conditioner on the hood. Um, you can also disconnect the generators and plug it into shore power if you have that available. When the generators are running, it powers the fan here that sucks and draws the air in. There's four fans in the back that exit it out, and there's also side vents that'll let the exhaust out. And so when you shut this, you can leave that fan running yeah, right fan, there. Everything, all the fans will run once you have power. The, uh, the hose here, that is two generators are fed together, they're tied together, and the hose exits the back, and you can plug it into an external tank, and that five gallons will last you the whole day and most of the night. That's great. And this also keeps it quiet too, right? Yeah, this, this keeps These generators are pretty quiet as they are. They're the small Coleman's, or uh, Hondas, I mean. Um, but when you've got it enclosed in this box, that, that deadens the sound quite a bit, Correct. doesn't it? Yeah, you can sleep in it fine. And then if you need to open the doors, there's a, attachments on either side. There's a bolt, it's a pin. You release a pin, disconnect those, and it'll slide aft 18 inches. Just so enough to open the back door. allow you to open the doors, allow you to get the spare tire off. You go to drive in or camping, you can open them up, you can slide it, you can bring the mattress out with something if you want, uh, watch a movie or just hang we out. Like, we like to, we have a screen on our back door and we like to open the back doors up sometime when we're in a nice weather, climate, condition or backed up to a river or a lake. Right. And we like to sleep with the back doors open. So okay. this is nice when you've got something like this, unless it can get out of your way, uh, it limits you to opening those back doors. Right. So that's great. That's pretty much it for the adjustment of it. Man, this is an awesome setup, folks. Like I said, most banners do not have the option to run an air conditioner like this. Solar panels are great, but you're going to have to have a huge bank of batteries. And even then, if you got, were able to run your air conditioner off of a bank of batteries, it would only last for a limited amount of time. And Mike here saying with this external 5-gallon gas, uh, gasoline tank right here, they run all night long. I don't know how many, how many hours you can run it. Uh, and definitely be comfortable inside your van with that. And what I like about this is not only is it practical right here, I am known as the practical tactical van or practical van. This is so practical, but yet it moves out of the way so that you can open those doors. Right. And that is great. That is great. Also, the battery that starts the van will power everything minus the uh, air conditioner when it's running. Once you kill the battery there, you either have to have this or the deep cycle the battery. External battery. So you never kill the battery that starts to be. That's great. That's exactly what I've got on my van. It charges both the batteries when you're driving, but as right. soon as you shut it off, you're using your supplemental battery, your external battery, so you can always start your van. That's an important thing to do when you've got a custom van because if you're camping for a couple days or something and you're used to running some music or lights or whatever. Uh, you never want to drain that first, uh, your main battery down because then you'll be stranded. So always have that switch uh, that turns it off or on, whether it's automatically or manual, to separate right. the two batteries. These generators do have a kit where if you wanted to buy it, it's a jumper kit. It will attach to the generator and you jump the oh, power yeah. off. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. What a, <laughs> what a great fan. And I, I wanna, it is a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you for doing our interview with you. We're going to have this up on backroadsbanner.com, so check it out. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on down the road, and make it a backroad. <laughs>